Hey guys, welcome back. So this is a little bit different from what I usually do on my channel, but I really wanted to show you guys today what I get from Trader Joe's when I go to grocery shopping. So a lot of you guys actually have been requesting for me to do a what I eat in the day video and a workout routine video, which I will get to, but I just went grocery shopping today, so I figured why not show you exactly what I buy from the grocery store when I'm trying to be healthy, and this is kind of everything that I eat during the week. So I'm just gonna get started and show you. I'm just gonna take it out of the bag in no specific order. To get started, my first item here, this is the organic brown rice, organic rice cakes. So these are really good. I usually eat these every time before the gym or if I'm just, it's late at night and I haven't really eaten and I don't want a big meal before bed, I have this with some almond butter and jelly, which I'll show you which ones I buy later on in this haul. So these are great. They're very inaffordable, which is so good about Trader Joe's because everything is healthy and very, very inaffordable. Very, very inexpensive, so it's affordable. I got this organic brown rice quinoa spaghetti pasta. So I've never tried the spaghetti ones, but I've tried the same organ um, quinoa pasta in like the little swirly ones. I forget what that's called. Um, so we wanted to try the pasta today. So I'm not gluten free. I'm like not completely, but I have been trying to cut down on gluten and I have seen a huge difference with that. So this pasta is gluten free and honestly it tastes the same. The texture is the same and we just mix it with, um, with some red sauce or even just olive oil salt pepper and lemon or something like that so once again a great alternative for pasta we are not gluten-free or vegan but we do try to cut out dairy and gluten when possible okay so this is another example of when I buy something that's gluten-free these are the gluten-free toaster waffles so these are just so good for me in the morning before work when I'm in a rush and I just want to pop something into the toaster and be done um, so this is a great alternative to regular Eggo waffles, which I always used to eat as a kid, but these, I swear, taste the same. They're very quick to make and they're gluten-free, so, which is always a plus. Okay, so next we got the peanut butter filled pretzels. These are really good from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you guys have tried them. I think they're like $1.99, very, very inexpensive. And this is just great for snacking. We love to snack in between meals, so this is just like a good, healthy alternative than a regular snack. So it's really not bad. It's no, preser no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. So it's basically just pretzels and peanut butter. So it's really good for snacking. Okay, so next we just got a bunch of lemons. I love to put lemons in my water and in a lot of my food as well. So anytime I'm making like a pasta or something, um, I just love the acidity from lemons. But this is really good to put in your water. It just helps to speed up your metabolism. And also it makes you not as hungry. So in the morning if I didn't have time to eat, I may just make a lemon water and it'll kind of hold me over until I could get a snack or something. So we usually buy like five or six of those. So next we have these chicken pot stickers. They're chicken and vegetable dumplings. So this is like for a night where I'm just too lazy to cook something and I don't really want to stop to pick something up on my way home. So I usually just make like three or four of these. They're little. And I usually mix it with quinoa or brown rice or something or vegetables. And it's just like a good little quick meal. Um, but once again, very inexpensive. If you're, if you're a vegetarian, they do have a vegetarian option. I didn't like the taste of it as much, so we stuck with the chicken. Okay, so next, these are the Trader Joe's Gone Bananas Chocolate Covered Banana Slices. So this is really good. I after I eat a big meal at dinner time, I always crave chocolate before bed. So I figured I would pick this up as kind of like a little treat. This isn't obviously healthy, but it's not that bad for you because it's dark chocolate and it's banana. So this is just really good for me before bed it, and they're little so I usually just have one or two depending on the size of it and it just kind of like keeps me from snacking very late so I really like to have at least one little chocolate treat okay so next I have this really popular item from Trader Joe's this is the organic rice cauliflower so we usually buy we usually stock up on these because they do sell out so so quickly they're $1.99 which is so affordable and we like to use this for if we want to make something like a mashed potato or we just um, heat it up as is and it's so hearty and delicious and since it's cauliflower it's less calories than a potato or something like that okay so for our butter we do like to use a vegan option just to cut down on dairy so this is the earth balance original it's non-gmo and it's vegan so we don't use butter that much we try to cut it out but i do in the morning if i'm eating one of the waffles i do put a little bit of this on it and it's always good to have butter in the house for cooking or anything like that Okay, so next we have this 100% pure maple syrup. So this is for the waffles in the morning or anything else that we really want to put it on. But what's so good about this is that there's no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. It's just 100% maple syrup. 
and it wasn't that expensive I believe this was $4.99 but for pure maple syrup that's honestly not bad and this way I'm not having so much artificial preservatives or anything like that and it tastes really really good Okay, so next I bought these cereal bars. I know these aren't the best out there for you, but I've tried all the healthy granola bars and I just really hate them. So this is just, I try not to have these every day, but if I'm running extremely late and I just wanna throw something in my bag for later so I'm not starving, this is what this is for. So these are just the strawberry cereal bars. Once again, they were very cheap. I think like $1.29, under $2, which for snack bars is really, really affordable. Okay, so next up, this is another really popular item from Trader Joe's. I've been seeing this on a lot of people's snap stories, but it's it's called Everything But The Bagel. So it's a seasoning blend, basically a Everything Bagel seasoning blend. Um, but I use this on top of avocado toast or on top of an egg on toast, and it's so, so delicious. So this, I believe, was under, it was $1.99. So for something like this, it's really affordable, and it's really yummy. I suggest trying it if you love everything bagels, but you don't want to have one every day. So you could kind of get the taste of it on, you know, a less carby item. Okay, so next up we have the grilled lemon pepper chicken. I try to stay away from chicken. I have been eating a lot less meat than I usually do, but this chicken's honestly really good. I like to put it in my salads or just eat it on its own. It's not weird or anything. I get very freaked out with chicken lately. Every time I've had this, it's just really delicious and it's so easy to make and it just tastes really good. Okay, so next I have something that we are so obsessed with. We literally bought five bags of it. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but this is the roasted plantain chips they're not the sweet ones these are more salty these are so so delicious we love to eat them with salsa which i could show you guys this next um or hummus or anything and this way we're not eating a chip they're gluten free and they are so so good i swear i i was never a plantain person and i don't really like the really sweet ones but once i've tried these i'm addicted and i love them so much more than any chip okay so let me just quickly show you the salsa that i just showed you so this is just the I guess they're like original authentic salsa. It's so good. I swear it tastes like any salsa that you could get at a restaurant. Um, I like that it's not like too clumpy, but it tastes really good with plantain chips or any type of chips. So if you guys like salsa or anything like that, definitely try this one. It is so delicious. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to show you, we usually get almond butter to put on top of those Quaker things, but we wanted to try peanut butter this time, so we just got the crunchy, no stir peanut butter spread, and then I want to show you, we didn't buy this this time because we had some here, but I just want to show you the jelly that I used, so this is the organic reduced sugar raspberry jelly from Trader Joe's and it is so delicious it doesn't taste as if it was reduced sugar it tastes just as good as regular jelly so I put these two items on top of my rice cake let me show you that again and it is such a delicious snack and it's it keeps me full for so long all right guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this concept on my video I know it's different from what I usually do I usually focus on fashion or cosmetic videos if you guys are new to my channel and didn't know that but I did want to incorporate some more lifestyle and I know a lot of you guys were asking for what I eat in the day and this is just this kind of just shows you kind of what I eat but I will do a whole video and take you through meal by meal but I really hope you guys like this video please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing and make sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel thank you guys so so much for watching I will see you in my next video